All right, so what we are making today is um, the gift bags. But like I said, I'm sure a million times already, is I am doing a candy buffet. So um, for the gifts, it's going to be the bags will just be sitting there and then they can fill up. I'm going to have little like plastic bags as well. So they can fill up whatever they want with the candy. And then there are also cupcakes and um, chocolate covered pretzels that I'm doing like with the pink and purple chocolate. Excuse me. And this is the bag. Um, it's just a white it's kind of shiny, which I didn't even mean to get a shiny one, but that's just what I grabbed. Um, but this is from Hobby Lobby, and I did all this with my Cricut using the, what did I use? Um, the background is paper lace too for this polka dot thing back here. And then this is all, it's all from the new Arrival cartridge. And I don't know um, if you recognize it, but this is actually what I used for the banner, um, the Welcome Sweet Evelyn banner. And um, I just did it larger for that. So I thought that would be cute because the banner's gonna be on the wall above the candy buffet. So these will be here and it'll kind of match. They're not exactly the same, but I thought it was cute. So that is that and we're gonna go ahead and put it together. Um, so I just have the bag, I've kept them folded and um, this is pretty simple. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and glue this on first. Actually, I never have this low enough. Okay, there we go. And I did have something under these, but I guess I'll just get more glue on my desk. And I'm just putting the glue on the dots. I'm not worrying about getting the entire thing. I'm also going around the edges. just leaving probably about an inch at the bottom. I didn't want to put it up too high because it's going to be folded over. So just press that down. And then for this top part, um, I'm using pop dots like this. See how it sticks up? And it's easier to press it down if I glue this part down first. So we're gonna do that. I'm glad I had to go buy a new zig stick because my Cricut mat needed restock. This, uh, this dark purple paper that's the background, it, is, it leaves so much um, like fuzz, like the paper fibers. It's very, I don't, I don't really like it. It kind of rips a lot. It's, um, it's this, it's from Joann's. It's the Princess it's Coordinations. Um, I use it for the, sh for the invitations as well, but I just, I don't really like it. I like the stuff I got at Michael's much better. So, all right, so we're gonna glue these together. And this has the little, it's got little holes around the edge. I don't know if you can see it, but, um, so this lines up just right around, or right inside of those holes. Okay, and then I'm using, like I said, the pop dots, and I'm just cutting them in half and putting like one on each side, just kind of stabilize it. I feel like if it's in the middle, it'll pop off easier. Okay. Just peel the backs off of those. My paper trash pile is enormous right now. Somewhere under there is the actual trash can. <laughs> okay, and then um, I'm just making it a little crooked. Not a ton, but just a little. All right, and there it is. Um, I thought these were gonna be 
little more involved, but they're actually very, very simple. And I had this one done first um, with the bow on top. And I don't know, I don't feel like the bow is necessary. I like it without the bow. And I, I liked this like this, but this, thank you. I don't know how I got it to cut this time. Every other time I tried to cut it, it ripped into a million pieces. And I think it's also because I was using that paper, but I said, forget it. And I used different paper that's like a thicker, harder cards, card stock that doesn't um, rip as much. And it's just easier when it's like this and you're pulling the, the little thin pieces out. So, all right, that is it. Thanks, bye.